Not every college career is a constant ascent. Many, if not most, have winding paths. So meet Bailey Bulmer. It's been nothing short of amazing. I know that I've made the right decision four years ago. Those are the kind of kids that you want in your program. Somebody that's just wants to be out there, wants to work, wants to compete. That's exactly what Balmer's done in four years. Earning time in the back row as a true freshman, then starting her sophomore year as a top pin hitter early. High school, like, hitting was my thing. And then sophomore year to finally, like, get back into my routine and what I have been doing, that was an, a great feeling. But she's worn a lot of different hats since then. Steve was like, wow, like, you're a great passer. I'm like, okay. He's like, I could see you, like, coming in and being a libero. I was like... All right, that's different. Really, really fell in love with her as a passer. I mean, she's just a physical body, just great athlete. But still, turns out, isn't immune to injury. Her back derailing her sophomore spring. It was between my L4 and L5. So that spring, it was mostly like when the girls were doing conditioning and lifting, I was stretching, I was biking, I was, which for me, that was probably the hardest part, like sitting out of things. She's somebody, she's going to play through it. She's going to do anything and everything to act like she's 100%. Balmer wound up having it fixed and limited to just 32 sets as a junior, with younger players moving up on the depth chart. Until lately, when Balmer's reemerged. She's just someone that stayed the course, and by doing so, she's put herself in a position that um, when her number was called, she was ready to go. Um, and since then, she's not let it go. It's been so fun and something that I was really hoping that I would get to that point this year. and. I mean, it's just been great to actually get to where, I, like, my goal. Like, that's where I wanted to be after surgery, after everything that's gone on. So it's been huge. Sometimes in your senior year, you can see people that are just ready to get through it and, you know, have a good career and it's over. But with Bailey, she's going to do everything she can to max out her final weeks um, as being a part of our program. Even if that means sometimes running on empty. See, Balmer's a nursing major, easily one of the toughest programs on campus with clinicals, classes, and practice. Her days are full. I think it's just, I mean, loving what you do. So I love volleyball. I love the nursing and what I will be doing and helping people. So just that motivation kind of keeps me going. And yeah, if I have to stay up late one night, work on a care plan or studying, it's like, okay, great, but I get to wake up early in the morning and go to practice or go to clinicals. She's bound to determine that you know, she's going to be a great nurse, and she excels in the classroom. We'll, we'll make it work. We'll make it work, whatever. So we'll come in in the afternoons. If I'll, I'll go one-on-one -on -one with her in the afternoons if she has to leave practice early so she can continue with those reps. And it's all paid off, for another week at least, and maybe more.